So how many of you are still single and not married? Can I see your hands? Mashallah. Okay, um, the men, please put your hands down. <laughs> Ladies, my name is Samir Al Jabri. I'm from Abu Dhabi. <laughs> I'm 29 years old. I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Contest chair, steam judges, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Actually, I don't need to ask this question because I already have enough pressure that I have to go through every single day. I mean, I frequently get asked, Samir, how old are you? 29, mashallah. You're still single. What's wrong with you? <laughs> when are you getting married? So this pressure is real, huh? especially when it comes from the family. This is my auntie trying to help me out. Samir, come. When are you getting married? And inshallah soon, it will happen soon, so. Come, come. How do you want her, tall, short, slim, chubby, short hair, long hair? How do you want her? Look, auntie, but this is not the point. The point is we should like each other, we should love each other, we should have this passion to each other. And she says, yes, Samir, all this is very important. After marriage, come, come. <laughs> Chubby or chubby? But then I came to realize that it is not only the family. It's everyone around me, my colleagues at the office. Samir, when are you getting married? <laughs> come, I'll introduce you to my friend. She's beautiful. The other one, Samir, come, I'll introduce you to my cousin. She's gorgeous. The other one, Samir, come, I'll introduce you to my brother, to my daughter. <laughs> She's the same age like you. And then my manager comes. My manager came up to me and said, Samir, you're 29 years old, still not married. I got married when I was 29 years old to my third wife. <laughs> when are you getting married? And all this hassle is happening for what? For that one day at the wedding. You all think you know what the wedding is all about. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me tell you what the wedding is all about. So in the women's hall, you have the bride sitting there on the stage. You have the dance floor here. Music, lights, party time. And everyone goes to the dance floor. But there is one table at the corner. One table. With all the mothers sitting next to each other. Looking at the dance floor, analyzing. She's tall, my son is tall, good, yes. <laughs> hey, hey, for your son Saeed, the one next to her, the one next to her, she's good. <laughs> no, Shuhada, what is this? No, look, she's skinny, too skinny, no, no. If my son sneezes, she, she's on the ground. The one behind her, mashallah, mashallah, look at this. This one, I guarantee you, five grandchildren I will have from this one. <laughs> and then in my brother's wedding, so I was part of his entourage when he came into the hall. And as I walked into the hall with him, I look up and I saw a hall filled with women. And I'm like, oh no, just keep looking down. And as I am walking, I can hear them giggling and whispering all around me. Giggly, 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 tall. <laughs> giggly, 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 handsome. <laughs> giggly, 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 single. I'm like, no, that's not happening. That's not, just keep, keep looking straight. I can't explain to you how I felt walking there. I felt like I was a piece of meat to all of these women. So I continued straight. And as I'm walking, I felt suddenly this pain in my rib. I looked to the side. As it turned out to be, my mom had elbowed me. 
I'm like, Mom, what's wrong? She yelled and said loudly, Look up! You might find your future wife somewhere here. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. My face turned red. Yes, me, red. <laughs> so I looked up and I started smiling. And I felt the pain again. And I'm like, Mom, no, I'm smiling. <laughs> and she said, not here, there. This one is younger. Here. <laughs> that night when we came back home, my sister and my mother, they were arguing. As it turned out to be, they were arguing over a girl they saw at the wedding. And my sister said, she's perfect for Samir. She's educated. She comes from a good family. She looks good. She's tall like him as well. And my mom said, no, no, no. <laughs> and you know, when my mom says no, it must be something good. <laughs> I was like, mommy, why no? And she said, the dress is too flashy. You know? Open here, open there, open everywhere. <laughs> but mom, I will be looking here, looking there, looking everywhere. Even after going through all these situations, I can see that day, I can still see that day when I'm coming back from my honeymoon. I'm holding my wife's hand, not the one with the flashy dress, another one. <laughs> and as I walk into the house, I open the door and I see my mom. So we go to greet her, but she does not say hi or hello or we'll come back. She looks straight at me and says, when are you having babies? <laughs> Over to you.